everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our Final Fantasy XIV Online Let's Play, and we are back with Vesper. And before we get started today, I do want to point out that I have made some adjustments to some of my recording settings. I'm hoping that it will look a little bit crisper and clearer as we're going through. Um, if it doesn't, I do apologize. Because we're playing an MMO, uh, I can't actually go back and re- do the stuff that we're gonna do today so i hope you just if it looks bad i hope you put up with it uh for this episode and i will change it back in the next episode if it does turn out to look a little worse but i was fidgeting a little bit because <laughs> i was re-watching one of the old videos and i was noticing it was getting a little blurry as we were running around um i did some research on some of the obs settings because my computer and my internet should be able to handle uh, recording Final Fantasy 14 and so I, I did make uh, a pretty significant change in the recording settings so please do let me know uh, if it's too blurry um, I mean of course I'll watch it as well um, if it's still blurry if it's lagging or if you see anything wrong with it please do let me know because I am kind of fidgeting with it so just just to give you a heads up on that but let's go ahead and continue on the main story quest as we're going so we've got Serena here My friends, I must warn you, the path upon which you embark is fraught with peril. You will journey into the far reaches of the steppe to confront a terrible foe, as did the warrior Bardem in days of yore. Three days he battled with the demon ere he returned to his people. So it is written, so must it be. Many who follow in his footsteps perish, lacking in strength of body and mind. Therefore- Uh oh. We must treat you to a great feast. What? <laughs> have have I said something strange? The hungry fox starves staring at the bull's testicles. Therefore, what? The hungry fox starves staring at the bull's testicles. Therefore, warriors should be well fed on the eve of battle. <laughs> I think that was stranger than <laughs> what you said before, but... She does have a point. You have been keeping busy in my absence. A brief re repass may be in order, lest we collapse of fatigue and malnourishment in the midst of our trial. Yes, just so. However, it will take time to prepare. Is there anything we can help? do to help? It might also give us a chance to learn more about your people and their ways. Well, if you insist, I'm sure that the others would be glad of your assistance. Hmm. Would you go and speak with Dorbe, Lise? Hi, Lise. As for you three, you can help me with another task. For today's feast, the gods decreed that we lure Golo Golo to slaughter with entrails. Perhaps you could be the ones to do this. That your people look to the gods for guidance, I understand, but in your daily meals? I say, your grandmother must be quite busy. Some days more than others, but every night we come together around the cook fire. Even babes must earn their keep on the step. Give over the entrails, Serena. We will bring you a bounty of meat. Interesting. Alrighty. Well. Let's go... Oh, we gotta just speak with Hian first before we lure these things with entrails. That was such a weird conversation. I don't know what's happening there. A word of advice. Our quarry is wont to avoid the Zela and their settlements, but is fond of flowing waters. Hmm, a thought occurs to me. How about we make a game of it, Vesper? I have six bags of entrails with, with which we may lure our Golo Golo. Three for you and three for me. Whoever returns with the greater portion shall be declared the winner. What say you? Okay. Then it is settled. Gosetsu will stand as witness. Let the game begin. Alright. Gotta lure some in. They're all over the place. So... He said they liked water, though? So maybe that's not a good place for the water? Or for the, um... 
entrails. Is there water <laughs> around here? Let me go try up here. Go try up this way. I really hope that the graphics look nice. That's the last I'm gonna say about it, but I really hope that it looks a little better, not too laggy, not too, too blurry. Here, this is by the water. Oh yeah, let's try this spot. I like flowing water. Alright, first of all, we gotta bring out our knight and behemoth armor. Wing sauce. Wing sauce, though, can you get off the exact spot that I. <laughs> the river winds its way south. The water's turning with a gentle current. There may be many Gullah Gullah lurking nearby. Yes. I do that here. Uh oh. Oh, three. Okay. 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 Oh, God. Hit with that? I think I did. Paralysis? No! Don't do his paralysis junk. Mm. Alright. Okay. So we got that one. Uh, the rest are up this way, but there's no water up there. What is this? A moo shoo. All right. Well, maybe we'll. There's a spot. Wait. Can I read the quest again? Does it? And say, I thought he said by water. This look like it's by water, not really. The area appears to be isolated and far from any Zalia settlement. There may be oh many yeah. Okay. Far from the settlement. Oops. I thought it, was, it had to be by water. Oh, we only got two. Well, that's fine. No, oh, I don't want to get hit by that. Shoot, I'm out of mana. <laughs> I messed up. Uh, which one gives me the mana back? No, not that one. Uh, where's my- this. Give me this. There we go. Well, wing sauce took care of it for me. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, then there's one up in here. Maybe this one's far, far enough back. I wonder how many Hian has. Does this say many? They're isolated and far from any Zayla settlement. There may be many Gula Gula. Alright. Uh, we'll just give it a try. Oh, three again. Okay. Good, good, good. Tis good. Nope. Don't do that to me. I said don't do that. Alright, we gotta watch our mana, because I don't want to get caught off guard again. Alright. 
cool. That was our our three lures. So now let's take these back. Uh, can I go this way and drop down? Or is this going to be death if I drop down? <laughs> How far down is it? It's not too... Oh, it's like a little step. Although this drop might be... Okay, I think we're okay. Come in, John! Ow! Oh! Ow! Okay. Great. He and how many did you get? What do we have? Six and two? So, we have eight. Gosetsu, how many did he and get? Oh, have you used all your bait? In that case, let us see the fruits of your labor. Oh, it would seem that at the very least you are the faster hunter. But speed is not everything. For my part, I slew six Gulu Gulu. <laughs> I beat him. Aye, that you have, my lord. As for Vesper, the meat of eight Gulu Gulu did she bring. A fine day's work and an undeniably the greater portion. <laughs> Ah, a loss, is it? And how confident I was in my chances. Nevertheless, it is a testament to your skills as a hunter and a warrior. How fortunate I am to count one so talented among my allies. And with that, our game is concluded. Let us return to Mole Elo forthwith, and let us have Vesper present our meat to Serena. <laughs> Such a child, because I'm thinking... Oh, we're going to present our meat. <laughs> I'm 12. All right. Mayhap you are unfamiliar with traditional Zayla cuisine. Let not, it, let not its appearance deceive you. It is quite hearty and nourishing. Were it not so, I doubt they could have nursed me back to health. <laughs> you should have seen the state I was in. All right, let's go eat this feast. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Oh, up this way. Let's go, wing sauce. Maybe you'll get a taste, huh? Jin Jinkshi. You are returned, Vesper. How was your hunt? Bunch of meat. My word, this is impressive. Or were you so hungry that you felt the need to kill so many? Well, I shall endeavor not to disappoint you all with my cooking. Thank you, and we are gonna take the uh, <laughs> we will take this it will be a little while before the meal is ready if you and Lise wish to fill the time perhaps you could assist Dorbe he has many responsibilities and would welcome your help nor would you regret making his acquaintance for he is liked and respected by all you may find him- oh my god, what mount is that? Get back here. You may find him by the other yurt, taking stock of our supplies. We want that little green- little green dude mount. Get doorway. Ah, one of the newcomers. Welcome. I spoke with Lise. I bade her help the children gather fuel for the cook fires. I trust it will be a good experience for all. For you too, perhaps. Seek them in the south, across the bridge. Alright, let's go... Across the bridge. Gather some firewood with the kiddos. I, these, these things, when you just see the top of them, I'm always like, what the heck? Uh, oh. Bridge. Who is this, a fisherman? They're spearing some fish? Interesting. That mammoth. There's Lise. Oh, Vesper, are you here to help too? 
Great, so I suppose Dorbe told you that the children and I are gathering fuel for the fires, did he? Oh yes, it's Dawn, my favorite music. It'll need to be dried before they can burn it, of course. You, um, you do understand what we're here for, right? Only, some people can be a bit squeamish about this sort of stuff. Then again, you've never minded getting your hands dirty, have you? Anyway, we're trying to get four piles each. Good luck, and keep an eye on the children while you're at it, eh? Wait, I... I miss... Gathered yeah, done, of course. <laughs> I was gonna say, I missed... I missed what we were supposed to do. Auburn Tuft. What a crap job, huh? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I cracked myself up, man. Alright, that guy is really close to what we need to get over here. Herbal. Yeah, turn around. You don't want none of this. Tell him, wing sauce. Oh. Alright, where's the other tufts? Upstairs, maybe? Upstairs. <laughs> Up here, I mean. Can you see any? Um, I hear one. Bluey mole girl. Tuft? Can't get across there, huh? Man, this does remind me for, of the planes from uh, Final Fantasy X. Any. There, there's one. Some poopos. Okay, deliver the dawn to Lee's cross. This is such a good... <laughs> good golly, Miss Molly. Where's my fat chocobo music? Busted. I'll fill in for you. Okay. Alright, Lise. <laughs> well, have you found your share yet? Good work. I hope you took the time to talk to the children while you were at it. Oh, I, I did not. Lise, Lise, look how much done we have. Wow, I'm impressed. I thought we'd gathered a lot, but it looks like we'll have to admit defeat. Dorbe will be happy we found enough. Not just Dorbe. We can now continue making cheese. Not that I was worried. It was easier when we were living near the forest, but done works just as well as wood. I heard the mole move from place to place. Let the gods tell you where to go. That must be hard on you all. Hard? I do not understand. Why is it hard? It is better for the animals to move. To have more food to eat and land to roam. To stay in one place is harder, no? From the heavens comes the rain, which nourishes, nourishes the soul. From the soul comes the grass, which nourishes the beast. From the beast comes the flesh, which nourishes the zela. Ours is the soil of one and all. <laughs> but you westerners are like the domans. You live in the same place, in villages. And all the villages in one place are part of a nation, yes? Ian talks about nations sometimes. When he was injured, he spoke of Doma in his sleep. But I did not understand his words. Whenever I ask him about Doma, he just smiles and looks to the south. It reminds me of my mother when she waits for my father to return from a long journey. But Ian will not wait any longer, will he? Because you came for him. To take him back. Because his nation is more important. Ah. Um, I'm not sure how to answer this. A nation is a place, I suppose. A place and the people in it. And maybe the things, too. But more than that, it's the history, the traditions, the words, the stories we tell ourselves and our children. Everything that came before and everything that comes after. The place we were born is part of who we are. We carry it with us no matter where we go. Whoever... Whatever we become, that part remains. That link to our fathers and their fathers before them. It's it's not important to everyone, I suppose, and that's fine. But it's important to Hien, and to me. It 
Some call them old fools for listening to the Elder Gods, but it is our way. Our pride. Our... nation? Something like that. It's something precious that you and others share, and that no one can ever take from you. But we can talk more about it later. It's time to go home. Dorbey is waiting. I'll stay with the children. Why not go and let Serena know how we got on? A good little lesson for the kiddos. Alright, wing sauce, let's get out of here, man. Someone's fighting purples and they hold two, huh? What is he, gunbreaker? Ma machinist. I think that weird, like, turret thing in the sky is a machinist. Welcome back, Vesper. Did you speak with Dorbey? Yeah. Well, well, then you will forgive me if I ask you to wash your hands. I shall pour you a cup of milk tea in the meantime. The meal is almost ready, so we should summon Hien and Gosetsu. Beautiful. Lisa's sleeping. She needed the rest, to come so far and carry so much. Hien and his friend, too. Strange that they should vanish so soon. It's fine. Not troubled by our own wounds, I see. <laughs> Nor you by yours. I know I should have fled with the others after father died, instead of blindly fighting on. It was reckless and foolish, and there was naught to be gained from it. Everything to lose, rather. We know no path save the one we walk. I myself am in no hurry to meet those who have gone before. Not while I have still to make amends. Well said. You are none the worse for your time in the wilderness. On the contrary, I would say you have improved. Come now, your victory still far exceed mine. Or have you forgotten all the times you trounced me as a boy? <laughs> Aw, what's the matter, Gosatsu? I feared I would not see you again. Oh, I really like these two. A life so fortuitously saved should be spent wisely. Without regret would I have traded it for our people's amnesty had it been their will. Instead, they have called for the sword. And so that is what I must be. Until this blade is broken. I can but carve a path forward. <laughs> Were you truly so concerned for my well-being? 
You never showed it when we used to spar. How you cried when you lost, <laughs> and when your mother tried to comfort you, and when you inevitably came at me once more, swinging your wooden sword wildly. Mina's little master Shun. What a fine young man you've become. Ah. A man should not be addressed by his childhood name. <laughs> I've told you about that before. Ah. The mask slips, and I was so close to cultivating a winning persona. <laughs> I know your secret, Master Shun. <laughs> there will be opportunity enough for putting on airs after you have returned in triumph to Doma. Now is the time to show our true character. Hello. Um, Sean, was it? <laughs> Look at that grin on our face. Yes, yes. It is a name my parents gave me as a child, but I should like to think I have long since outgrown it. But <laughs> as you seem determined to bring it back into use, I believe a match is in order. If I win... You will be honor bound to divulge one of your darkest secrets. Hmm. All right. Are we about to spar him, or is it just like a RP spar? Oh, okay, RP spar. I'm I'm cool with that. Uh, where is everyone? Look at all the quests around here. Well, well, my friends, I for one am full of vim and vigor. I trust you feel the same. Then what better time than now to undertake our trial and become full-fledged warriors of the mole? Okay. Ooh, I want that spell speed. Now then, Serena, if you would tell us of the trial we must undertake, that we might participate in the Nadam. Ah yes, as I mentioned before, to be recognized as warriors of the steppe, one must follow in the footsteps of the legendary warrior Bardum. He embarked on a great pilgrimage, eh, oh god, eschewing cart and horse, and walked for many malms until he came to a holy place, thereafter named Bardum's Metal. I think that's a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> there, at the altar, as he did, you must pray. The altar lies deep within the breeding grounds of the Yol. To complete your trial, you must tame one. Only then will your trial be complete. Bardem's Metal. Fair enough. And where is this entrance to Bardem's Metal? You must journey far, far to the west, beyond Chakazo, where lie the bones of the great and wise woman. Beyond the ruins of Sail N, hidden within the mountains, is a narrow pass. Follow it, and you will come to Bardem's Metal. Sounds to me like it'll be a trial just getting to the trial. More than you may know, on the eve of the Nada, many strive to improve their fortunes, some by abducting and enslaving the warriors of other tribes. Be ever mindful of your surroundings, lest you be taken as well. Ha! <laughs> ah, what grim expressions you wear while nodding so powerfully. Warriors such as you are not like to fall en route to a mere rite of passage. We shall, oh, wow. we shall proceed with all due caution, yes, but let us not worry over much. We will overcome this trial and the next and the next until we stand triumphant. That is all there is to it, no? With me, my friends, to the west, to Bardem's Metal. Interesting. What? Wait, Hien! Oh dear, I knew I would forget.
Here, take these whistles. Once tamed, your y'all will hearken to their call. Thanks, we will try them out once we finish the trial. Let's catch up to Hien and Gosetsu. Alright. Bow, bow. Uh, Hien, you need this whistle. Oh, I must have, uh, must have turned off the music for when you're riding. We still have a long way to go, but I think I can see the monument Serena talked about. I don't see Hien or Gasetsu, though. We should hurry. We literally just left. The yurt is right there. Alright. And away we go! Oh, uh, wait. Uh, there's a blue quest down here. Sheep Snatcher. Interesting. Is that a corgi? Oh, it's just a pup. Just a puppers. Don't suppose you have time to chase after a sheep, do you? My most cowardly one just ran off after hearing a nearby beast roar. She is so timid and she is likely to run away if you try to approach her normally. Take this blowgun and these darts that I've laced with a sedative. One hit and she will be out in an instant. She ran off somewhere to the west. Best of luck. <gasps> do we get more blow dart fun? <laughs> I want to do blow dart stuff. She is way out there. Okay. Uh, at least I got a sidetrack uh, to take care of the sheep problem. There are three Aether places in here. No, no, no. Leave me alone. Da, da, da. Is that a sheep? Like a bush sheep. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. You're looking for this. Little guy right here, though. Hopefully, we don't pull him. Okay. Blow dart? Oh, God, he's moving. Yeah. Oh, we missed him. Back over here. You little turd. Get over here. Oh. <laughs> How are we missing him so much? Oh my god. <laughs> Did he slow down just for me? Uh, am I- am I like- He <laughs> just stops and stares. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> All right, we're zooming. Oh, I gotta be in. Okay, Bump. got him. <laughs> what the heck? We shot him like square one, and then he just stopped and stared at us. I couldn't, still couldn't. <laughs> little jerk. You little jerk sheep. Get over here. This is why we don't play FPS <laughs> on the game. Or on the channel. What was that? Excuse you. I'm trying to fetch a sheep here. Man, this guy's tanky for a little bush thing. Let's get the lamb. You okay, little dude? I hit you like nine times, although they didn't count in the first ones. Alright. But I don't want this mount. I should take that one off my favorites. I don't want this mount either. <laughs> it feels slow to ride that mount. Ugh, it feels slow to ride this mount too. But that's okay. Alright. 
Get out my way. This was what I was looking for earlier <laughs> to restore the mana. Dang it. Alright, I got your little lamb. Did you manage to catch my sheep? <laughs> I'll just hand it over. Oh, thank you. You had me worried sick, you did, dearie. This job means everything to me. It truly does. I was just a lonely orphan with nowhere to call my own when the mole took me in. I said I would look after our sheep in an attempt to show my gratitude. My heart nearly stopped when this little one ran away. Sheep are the cornerstone of our tribe's way of life. I fear I will never be able to truly express my thanks to you, but I know I am grateful. Alright, All right, Lise. Sorry, I got uh, sidetracked with the promise of blow darts. I don't know about you, but I can't shake the feeling someone's watching us. Serena did warn us about tribes that kidnap warriors and make them fight for them. Something tells me we're about to meet them. Uh oh. I ain't gonna fight for no one else. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Alright, wing sauce, be prepared. Purple means danger. Boot again. The boot again tribe. Let's get this healer down first, actually. Mana farm. Good. Let's keep going. Where was Lisa and all that? Did they help us fight? You're just gonna let us get kidnapped? When can I get this turtle mount? <laughs> Is that a thing that I could get? Uh oh. Looks like Gosetsu and Hien ran into trouble. Ah, there you are. As you can see, they left us little choice. I gather you were forced to dispatch a few yourself. So it goes. A few less warriors to face in the Nadam, eh? Sail N is not much further. That said, I should be surprised if our would-be masters do not try to subdue us one final time. Did we, like, straight up kill these guys? Can we not kill each other? <laughs> like, they're just unconscious. They're fine. How far away is this? Should I mount? Probably. Ugh, this mount. Oh, that's a mob. What in the world? <laughs> we could go fight a wall. Bang your head against a wall, I suppose. Alright, our final fight right here. Hello, healer? Yes. Oh, get him, hit him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Stop doing that. That was a crit and a half. Oh, I like this map. Oh, but then you're. Oh. Mm. No, I was just looking at your name. Get out of here. Ow! You dick. Alright. We have discovered. The location of Bardem's Metal. Right, this must be the pass that leads to Bardem's Metal. They say no foreigners have overcome this trial, but, well, there's a first time for everything, no? Wait, where are we gonna get anything? Not really. Spell speed. Nothing left but to begin, then. To complete the trial, we must each pass through Bardem's Metal and tame a Yol. How precisely we are to do this, I am not sure, but since countless warriors before us have succeeded, I imagine we'll muddle through somehow. Oh, we got a whistle. But enough talk. We have a Nottam to win. Oh, Barnum's Medal now accessible. Alright, well, we just unlocked the dungeon, which is perfect timing. We will do the dungeon in the next episode, then. Uh, if I remember this dungeon right, it's a doozy. <laughs> a doozy as in it's a lot of fun, but I mess it up a lot. Look at her doing her squats like she's nervous. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and end here. Next episode, we'll go ahead and jump into that, uh, that dungeon and we'll continue on the main story. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. I really hope that the, um, it wasn't too choppy or grainy or blurry uh, with the new settings. Uh, but I'll see and if it is I'll change it back to the way we were doing it before and and take a look at some other avenues um, So guys again, thank you so much for all your support on this series If you do want to see more of the Final Fantasy 14 online, let's play make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye. Bye everyone